means. Therefore, this is how we're going to we use the model must or adverb definitely. If we go back to the chart, we will realize we use the base form of the verbs when we use model verbs. And when we use adverbs, we need to be careful with the verb. The verb must be used in third person singular. In other words, we add final s on the verb means. Something else that is important to know is the use of maybe and perhaps. These adverbs always go at the beginning of a sentence, whereas possibly, probably, and definitely go after the subject. Are you ready to come up with your own sentences? Share with us two sentences using models and two sentences using adverbs. Ready? Let's talk about models and adverbs. Notice they both go from a slight to a strong possibility. Don't go and stay for more. Let's look at this small diagram to illustrate what we mentioned in the intro video. Models and adverbs go from slight possibility to strong possibility. Models, it might, may, mean, it could mean, it must mean. Adverbs, maybe, perhaps, it means, it possibly, probably means, it definitely means. Therefore, this is how we're going to use models and adverbs. When we're not sure about the meaning, we use models of possibility. For example, might, may, could, or we may use adverbs such as maybe, perhaps, possibly, probably. And when we're sure about the meaning, we use the model must or adverb definitely. If we go back to the chart, we will realize we use the base form of the verbs when we use model verbs. And when we use adverbs, we need to be careful with the verb. The verb must be used in third person singular. In other words, we add final s on the verb means. Something else that is important to know is the use of maybe and perhaps. These adverbs always go at the beginning of a sentence whereas possibly, probably, and definitely go after the subject. Are you ready to come up with your own sentences? Share with us two sentences using models and two sentences using adverbs. Hi, let me ask you a question. Are you allowed to drink and drive? This time we'll talk about permission, prohibition, and obligation. So stay around for the explanation. Permission, obligation, and prohibition. Permission. You can camp here. You're allowed to take off your shoes. Obligation. You have to camp here. You've got to take off your shoes. Prohibition. You can't camp here. You aren't allowed to take off your shoes. When we talk about permission, we will use can or be allowed to. For example, you can park here. He's allowed to stay up late. We will use can't and not be allowed to for prohibition. He can't smoke in the lobby. They are not allowed to answer the phone. If you notice, it's the opposite of our permission usage. Finally, we have obligation. For obligation, have to or have got to are used. You have to pay rent. He's got to pick up the trash.
Write one example for permission, obligation, and prohibition with real information about you. What can you do? What are you allowed to do? And what do you have to do? Don't forget to write your examples on our discussion box. Hi, let me ask you a question. Are you allowed to drink and drive? This time we'll talk about permission, prohibition, and obligation. So stay around for the explanation. Permission, obligation, and prohibition. Permission. You can camp here. You're allowed to take off your shoes. Obligation. You have to camp here. You've got to take off your shoes. Prohibition. You can't camp here. You aren't allowed to take off your shoes. When we talk about permission, we will use can or be allowed to. For example, you can park here. He's allowed to stay up late. We will use can't and not be allowed to for prohibition. He can't smoke in the lobby. They're not allowed to answer the phone. If you notice, it's the opposite of our permission usage. Finally, we have obligation. For obligation, have to or have got to are used. You have to pay rent. He's got to pick up the trash. Write one example for permission, obligation, and prohibition with real information about you. What can you do? What are you allowed to do? And what do you have to do? Don't forget to write your examples on our discussion box. Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello, good evening. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. And you? Very good, very good. I had an awesome vacation. What about you? Um, I only have two days of vacation. But, oh, nice. Uh, mm, Yes, and my family and and I visited my husband grandmother. Where does your husband grandmother live? She live in Putiapa. Oh wow, that's far away. How many days did you enjoy? with grandmother only day <laughs> one day yes and uh, but we went to a river that is near his get there and oh. it was very comfortable oh that um, sounds good yes and um, we prepared pupusas with cool. the family the my my husband mm -hmm. hey that sounds like a lot of fun yes it, it's fun it was fun i am happy to hear that you enjoyed quality time with your family mm. Repeat, uh, please, uh, I am happy that you enjoyed quality time with your family. Mm. 
Me alegra que pasó tiempo de calidad con su familia. Ah, ok. Thank you, teacher. Of course, of course. Welcome back, everybody. I hope that everybody feels good. I hope that everybody had a good time with your family and loved ones. Now is back to work. Are you ready? Ready, teacher. Hi, hello, can you hear me? Yes. Yes. All right. So today we are going to be looking at 4.8, permission, prohibition, and obligation. Listen and repeat. Permission. 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 Prohibition. Prohibition. Obligation. 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 All right. So what you're going to do in this activity is you are going to listen to the audio and after that you are going to give me some original examples in the discussion. Are you ready? Hi, let me ask Are you, you a ready? Are you allowed to drink and drive? Yes, please. This yes, time we'll talk about permission, All right. prohibition, and obligation. So stay around Can for the everybody hear? Permission, obligation, and yes. prohibition. Permission. Yes, please. You can camp here. You're allowed to take off your shoes. Obligation. You have to camp here. You've got to take off your shoes. Prohibition. You can't camp here. You aren't allowed to take off your shoes. When we talk about permission, we will use can or be allowed to. For example. Okay. This is can or be allowed to, to give permission, right? Uh, for example, you say to your 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 son says mom can i drink milk and then mom says yes you can drink milk right the mom gives the permission to the son or or negative no you can't drink milk or you ask your boss boss can i have monday off and the boss says yes you can have Monday off or no, you can't have Monday off, right? So you give permission or you don't give permission. It's the decision of the person. Any questions? Example, you can park here. He's allowed to stay up late. We will use can't and not be allowed to. Oh, this is prohibition, right? Notice right here. He can't smoke in the lobby. He can't drink milk. You can't have the day off. They are not allowed to answer the phone. They can't answer the phone. Prohibition. Not permitted. He can't smoke in the lobby. 
they are not allowed to answer the phone. If you notice, it's the opposite of our permission usage. Finally, we have obligation. For obligation, have to or have got to are Okay, so this is an obligation. This is you don't have a choice. You have to do this. You don't have an option. Okay, for example, I, I have to work, right? That is my responsibility. That is my obligation. That's what I have to do. Uh, I have to pay the bills. That's my responsibility. Or you have to study. That is your obligation. Any questions? used. You have to pay rent. He's got to pick up the trash. Write one example for permission. Obli All right. So here you're going to give me five examples. You can use what can you do? What are you allowed to do? What do you have to do? Or other examples. These are only some ideas. And you are going to write the examples over here where it says, añade una publicación. You're going to put here. You're going to go to título. And you're going to write modals. M O D a l s models and here you're going to write for example number one number two number three number four number five etc etc and then when you finish you're going to click enviar are you ready are yes. you ready Let's do this. You will have five minutes. Five minutes. Ready? Let's go. <clears throat> you can share your screen.
Marlon, comparta pantalla a usted. Um, es que estoy desde el celular. Ay, yo también. I can't. Voy a ver si puedo. Yo le tomé screenshot a lo que tenemos que hacer. Si quieren, lo comparto. Ajá, compártalo, por favor. Sí. What can you Si buscan, vamos las haciendo y las compartimos en el chat. Mm -hmm. Ok. El grupo de WhatsApp. Okay. Okay. What can you do? They said, what can you do? Wendy. Excuse me. Marlon. Yo entendí que vamos a hacer ejemplos y los vamos a colocar en la plataforma, ¿sí es verdad? Um, yes. And in the, in the WhatsApp group, too. Sharing in the platform, no. Okay, teacher, thank you. Okay, okay.
ya están haciendo los ejemplos. Sí, yes, ya. Yeah. Ok. Amor de Jesús. Is everybody finished or do you need more time? More time. All right. More time, please. Okay. Uh, let me know when you finish. Let me know when you are finished.
All right, all right. Let me see what you got. All right, Marlon, can I hear your examples, please? Um, hello. Yes, teacher. I... I write two examples for um, por cada pregunta. Um, in the first, I I I can drive a car. Um, the second example, I can eat pizza at night. In the second part. I have to do Halloween party in my home. Hey, invite me to the Halloween party. <laughs> yes, yes. I like and it. And the second example, yes. The second example, I have to do Halloween a meeting in the school. Hey, that's um, nice. Enjoy it. In the, um, in the last part, I have to do my homework and I have to do my exam. Excellent. Very Only good, is. Marlon. Thank you. Thank you. Lisette, let me hear your examples. Okay. Number one, you have to work tomorrow. He have to travel all day to work. He have to or he has to? He has to travel all day to work. You can learn English and talk with me. We can talk in the meeting. They are not allowed to write in the wall. Excellent, okay. excellent. On the wall, on the wall. On the wall. Excellent, Lisa, thank you. Wendy, continue. Thank you. You can play here. In, in you you have to play here, and you can't play here. The test three four. Excellent, excellent. All right, let's go ahead and move forward, ladies and gentlemen. At this moment, we are going to look at the next section. For this part, we are going to do the knowledge check. Section 4.9, knowledge check. Instructions, look at the images. Match these school rules with the correct sign. These are the signs. You can click here if you want to maximize it like this. All right. Just like that. Any questions? Not the chance. All right, you're going to do this in pairs and then we're going to look at it together. One person can share the screen. One person can share the screen. Okay.
no sé por qué no me lo encontró. Algo hice mal. Veremos. No sé cómo hacerlo pequeño. Creo que tiene que posicionarse ¿Dentro? fuera de la imagen. No, fuera de la imagen. Ah, fuera de. Ajá, y ahí hacerlo como más pequeño. Está seguro. <ríe> no puedo. Uh -huh. No responde a lo que le digo a este teléfono. Es que estoy desde mi celular. Vaya. Yo los tengo, ya tengo las respuestas. Pero si ¿sí gusta, ustedes los tienen. Lo. Hello. Marlon, ¿usted ya lo respondió o no? Yes. Ok, entonces si gusta solo leámosla. Ok. Sí. Ok. Y Wendy. Ya las tengo. Ya las tengo. Sí. Ok. Si gusta vamos una y una entonces. Ok. Bike in the bike park. P2F. Uh -huh. Wendy. No eating or drinking in the classroom. And the uh, answer. Picture A. <laughs> mm, okay. No playing ball in the hallway. Picture H. Keep the classroom door closed. Picture D. Es lo que no sé cómo enseñárselo porque. No, eh, no pets allowed on campus. Picture C. Throw all, throw, throw all trash in the was, was the 
paper basket. Victor G. And don't open the window. Picture E. Turn out the lines when leaving. Picture B. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Ya terminaron todo, todo, todo ustedes. No, a mí me falta solo la última. El final exam. Final exam. Is the part. Thank you, Marlon. 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 Hello. Hola. The final exam. Mm. Let me see. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> um, voy a revisar. I don't remember, diga. <laughs> I don't remember. Lo que pasa es que en la última parte me sale reading. Read the article, the choose the correct answer. Pero acá me sale el archivo que solicita no existe, lo, el artículo. Ah, ok. ¿En cuál le sale eso? Es lo último, es la última parte del examen. El reading. Ajá, que se lea un artículo. Instruction, read the article, the choose the correct answer. Pero no me deja seleccionar, me deja seleccionar, más no enviar. Qué raro. Oigan, yo la que no sé hacer es la del final exam, la parte de la tercera parte. Oh, yo tengo la primera y la segunda de esa. Yo bueno, también la tercera la tengo no buena, mire, la tercera no me sale bien. Ah, vaya, también yo. Ya no sé cómo va. ¿Algún truco tiene? Ajá, yo esa no, no, no la puedo ver. La hice de mil formas y no me sale. El teacher que nos eche la mano. No estará por ahí. <ríe> Teacher, help me. <ríe> no está. Help, teacher. ¿Me dice cómo la ha he hecho? La he hecho en presente, pasado, en todas formas. No la última sale. que puse, puse, you have take a lot of your shoes here. <laughs> Pero no me sale. No, no sé. Y usted, Wendy, ya la hizo. ¿Cuál es? Me dice. En la sección 3 del examen final. Sección 3. La parte número 3 del examen final. Ah, no, o esa. He tratado un montón y nada. ¿En cuál dice que no le aparece? La última parte es la que me sale que no está el artículo que tengo que leer. Y Mire, pues, una... vea cómo me sale a mí. El uh -huh. artículo. All right, all right. Is everybody finished? Is everybody finished? Yes. Okay, let's have number one. 
lock your bikes in the bike rack. What letter? C to F. F. Yes. Number two, no eating or drinking in the classroom. Picture A. Picture A. Thank you. Number three, no playing ball in the hallway. No playing ball in the hallway. Picture H. Picture H. Number four, keep the classroom door closed. Picture D. Number five, no pets allowed on campus. Picture C. Number six, throw all trash in the waste bas waste paper basket. C to G. D. G. G. Yes. Don't open the windows. C to E. Picture E. Picture E. Yes. All right. Number eight, turn out the light when leaving. Picture B. Picture B. Let's check. Awesome. Awesome. Ding, ding, ding. Good job, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go to the next one. And we are going to be looking at listening activity listening activity you're going to listen to the three conversations and choose if the activity is true or false true or false you will have five minutes and then we will check okay You can share your screen. Thank you. 
escuchan o no? ¿Lo escuchan? No. Si quieren le damos la respuesta. Ok. Comienzo. Wendy, la uno. Eh. The man hasn't had a parking ticket. Lately. 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 Falls. They said. Parking isn't allowed there during work hours. True. The fine. The fine for parking is sixteen. No, false. Wendy, um, <laughs> Me no the, woman, the woman, the woman is driving faster than the speed limit. It's false. There are other cars in the in her lane. False. The lane is reserved for buses and taxis. True. Buses. Buses. And the other the other drivers are flashing their lines. True. It's driving with sixteen dollars. It's for well. sixteen dollars. Yeah. <laughs> Marlon. And well, boy. Is everybody finished? Yes, finish. Okay, let's $16. check it out. Oh, you got it already? Okay, number one, the man hasn't had a parking ticket lately. True or false? False. False. Parking isn't allowed there during working hours. True or false? True. True. The fine for parking is sixteen dollars. False. The woman 
is driving faster than the speed limit. Oh. Oh. There are other cars in her lane. Oh. Oh. The lane is reserved for buses and taxis. No. No. Oh. The other drivers are flashing their lights. He's driving with his light on. Oh. Oh. The other drivers are giving him a warning. No. Oh. Oh. Ding, ding, ding. All right. Excellent, guys. Okay, so today we finished with section number four. You can continue working section five and the final exam. And we will see you back tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Bye. Thank oh, bye. you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Bye, Thank teacher. You. Bye.